Oh, that's you! Yo, 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 yo. I got that man. I got slack. That man. Oh, it's him. It's him. I'm slack. I'm slack. Yeah. He might have the bond. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start a 39-hour trip going after amberjacks, amberjack season for a couple of more weeks. Of course, mangoes, red grouper, everything we can possibly try to catch and keep here. It's a couple of more weeks till red snapper season, so we hope to avoid them. But we're here live at Madeira Beach, the home of Hubbard's Marina, John's Pass, and we're about to go underway. The pelicans are hoping we bring back some nice treats for them. These are the people up there on the dock that wish they were going fishing. Sir, how about you, sir? My name is Stanley Mallon of Los Angeles, California. Out here visiting a friend. Welcome to the free state of Florida. Well, let me show you. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> oh, it's we catch fish like that in California. Oh, they get them here too, but not, not on this trip. Not no. On this well, we'll try. But uh, like I say, welcome to the free state of Florida. Oh, when I tell no, people, I'm wherever clear. you're, if I you're moving. I wish we could clear. take your that. governor <laughs> and replace ours. Yeah, I hear you. We got the best governor in the country right now, I think. Well, we're, we're doing a recall. I see that. I hear you. He's well, a real... All right, folks, at this time, we are ready to depart once again. Well, like to glad to sure have you on board, sir. Thank you. Nice to be here. I'm John, by the way. I spent a week here in Miami, and I discovered the only... Looks like an easy one today. made a hard one last week. That was a little too easy. All right, man. Well, that was a slam dunk. Nailed it. Well, Tell we us all that. about it. Mother Nature back out there again this weekend. A little bumpy. <laughs> so, uh, it's a little breeze here on the beach, but what the weather I saw said pretty bumpy, like 20 mile an hour at least out of the east for a little while tonight and into the morning and then calming down. Might be cool too. Yeah, it might be. It's at like low 70s. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, trying a different area again this trip. We're going, we're not going to go uh, base our trip on the Amberjacks this trip. We're going to try to go bang some mangoes tonight and then worry about Jacks in the morning. He's got a couple of uh, wrecks he wants to ride over on the ride out and uh, see if they're holding and not fish them yet, but see if they're holding fish and fish the mangroves through the night and then we'll worry about groupers and Jacks when the sun comes up. Sounds like a plan. I'll check back in with you, yeah, see how it goes. You ready to get them, sir? I'm they're ready. the uh, jet ski traffic and waving at the pretty girl. Now you wanna go ahead and get off the jet ski and come fishing. Tie you to the back. I'll tell you out for a while. Or just follow us until you run. Oh, yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Well, we are about to enter the Gulf of Mexico here. I'm guessing we'll start around midnight. We'll see. Maybe a little earlier. Maybe a little earlier, okay. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Chamber of Commerce day, not too hot. Matter of fact, the wind was uh, cooler than the water. The water was warmer than the wind today. When I pull up a bucket of water for pinfish, it was considerably warmer than the air, which is unusual for this time. You about an inch of line, and you put it through the eye of the hook. I go through the front part and out the back. Now hold that line on the side of the hook. With the top part, go just under the eye and wrap it six or seven times with the 60. If you're using lighter line, you will, of course, wrap it a few more times. Yep. Hold it with your finger. Now you're going to take the long end and go right back through the eye. From the back or from the front? I go from the back. It, does, it sits funny if you go the other way. And you really could tie any knot on the bottom. It's just a knot on the bottom. But I'm showing you this one so you know how to do it. So, top hook. Like that? Uh, you did something a little bit wrong, but that's pretty close. Oh, you don't need to put that loop right. 
right there around that one, that's all. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Just around that bottom piece, it got stuck on that bottom. Okay. I think that would have been right, maybe. Let's try it again. We got Tammy making meatballs here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. On the way out, look at that. We got some cheese going on there. And there's some potato salad up there. Looks like you're ready to chow down on it. Oh, I'm hungry. I can eat like a horse. Put them in the microwave, get the cheese melted. Yeah. And this tater salad is where? Absolutely, right here. Right tater here. salad. Yep. Yummy. Excellent. Parmesan cheese. It's excellent. Very good. Parmesan. All you got to do is wait for it to come out with the cheese melted. It's the hardest part, the countdown. Three, two, one. All here right, we here we go. go. Oh, no. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Melted. That looks good enough to eat. Got some Parmesan cheese? No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. All so right. You got yourself some potato salad. salad and a fork or something. Forks right there by you. Look Looks, at this, John. Uh, Looks tasty. I'm going to get me one here shortly. All right. Looks like another satisfied customer, Tim. Perfect. Good holding it perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> holding it perfect. <laughs> you got me for a minute. <laughs> I was holding it perfect. John fell on that perfect. Two and a half weeks early on that one. He's a Two and a half one I've got. He's Quite a gag, Benjamin. Even with that bendy pole, look at that thing, man. <laughs> slow Joe on the slow fish. They caught him. Slow Joe likes to move. Ain't pictures on his radio. He said that ain't the song Joe's got him on sideways. You got a decent leader on here, Joe? Can I swing him? Yeah. All right, so here he comes. Jason's gonna hand deliver this. Here he comes, slung. And that's how you slow pitch three out of four in a sideways green, green horn tuna. Uh, and then if you get them in the anus like that, they don't fight as hard. And that's the advantage they of uh, give it up. That, that's a double, I mean, that's that's a double penetration. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he is big. double penetration on this one. Yeah, she dirty, <laughs> dirty girl. We got all the holes. Man. Oh man, this poor Venator. He's got so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> look at that triple banger, baby. Triple banger, looky there. We got a bunch of fish coming up here on this spot right off the bat. There's a bunch of mangroves. Are going to keep? Yep. Look, and guys, some guys come out here and even catch groupers on this kind of shit right <laughs> on here. This, on this nonsense. <laughs> this nonsensical ball jig. <laughs> Naked ball jig with a pink. Yeah, get that. There he is. He's Tony. sponsored. The Tony dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> That's a holler. I think they're pumped pump the pump or something. With the hook on it. Let's see what Now, what he get? Our Uncle Ray yes, picked sir. him one up. Is that going to keep the fish? Probably he won't get me. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. And Big John in the background, it don't get no better. Okay. <laughs> 19 and 10. So this is last spot, guys. We got a contender mangrove. From a first timer. There's first the, timer, and I'm pretty sure I mean. I'm pretty sure we have another first timer on the bow that oh, got Joe's this got thing one. two spots ago, and he has a mangrove that is nearly the same size as that one, if not the same size. So Joe on the bow may have a double jackpot in the running right now. Hi, <laughs> right, Cody. Hold on. Hold on. Let's put that. Line on the deck, yeah. A little more line. I just seen that big school oven drop the square drop down on him. Got him. Hell yeah, I like Tail that. Rat. Tail too. Tail rat. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you're gonna have to retie that girl. Yeah. 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 I don't think 
he's gonna keep Mike, but we'll see when he gets up here. Fun fight anyway. Yeah, he looks small. Oh, if he comes in, we'll measure him. Should I got be 34? He might keep. What do you think, Jay? Is he going to keep? 34, right? 34. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another 33? My gosh. You got fish on everywhere. Love it. Come on. Oh yeah! Oh, little screamer, little Woo! screamer. Come on. I'll come back. Got, to John see got you. one. I got cover on him. Hold my time up here. Probably. 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 I got color. I might need a gap. Well, if they didn't get him, I might not. He went on down again. I do got I did have color. Don't pull right there, please. I'm a priest pull. I got color. Hey, he keeps going back now. I'm trying. You got a gap over there? Where? Right here. John's getting his close. Yeah, it looks like. I just know where you are right around you. You're around me. All right. Yes. I'll be back. All right, coming right through you guys. Yeah! I can't keep up with the action. Hold that right there, Jay. Look at that donkey. Look at that donkey. Who got that one? I got. You got that here on his. Oh, you got two. Got two. Yeah, he got one too. That's why I was trying to get away. Yeah, you both wrapped up. Let's get together and crank. Don't we? Two donkeys. I want to know if I got one. Finally! Got a shark! Got a little shark on. Get my shark? Yes, sir. What do we do? I've oh, got to wait for everybody for the gap. Yeah, he's a keeper. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a keeper. Slack up, slack. Everybody slack. I'll get you out of there. Four on on this side. Five on on this side. Maybe even six on on this side. Down to five. Down to five. Come on, Damien. Got color here. Alright, I'm going down there. You yeah, got that one off on me. Got one up here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm still wrapping it. Nope. I got one on the end. You got one on? Yeah, I got one on. I got something on. Two here waiting. Slack up! Slack up. Slack up over there! Oh God. God. Fucking slack up! Slack up! <laughs> it's Willie, right? Yeah, buddy. I think, I think Willie might have the boss on here. He might have the boss. Oh, that's you. Yo, yo, come on, yo. I got, that's me. Oh, I got slack up there. That's me. Oh, it's him, it's him. I'm slacked up. I'm slacked. Yeah, 
this old gal this old boat couldn't handle she can handle a pretty good sea sometimes we don't handle it well but uh, but the old vessel here she does pretty well all the time but it is absolutely gorgeous out here let me give you a quick panoramic view feels like it's about 70 degrees good morning I say, do I have an office with a view or what? Well, the trip was an interesting one. It started out literally pretty rough, uh, pretty tough seas, pretty tough conditions uh, to start the trip. So it was hard to uh, stay on the spot, mainly because we kept swinging so much. We took a lot of swings, but uh, we picked a few during the night but as the day progressed, the bite actually got better and better. Uh, there were, we picked mangoes pretty much on every spot during the day, even through the kind of afternoon doldrums, which is a little uh, unusual. There were a number of keeper red grouper caught. I think the biggest one this time was, I'm guessing about 12 pounds. The guy's in the jackpot. We'll see it when we get up there. Uh, I ended up with three keeper red grouper myself threw back four big gags hopefully i'll meet and some big red snapper they all went back down so hopefully i'll meet them again in a couple of weeks but no jackpot i don't believe this time i did get an amberjack we had a really good amberjack bite late in the afternoon on a particular spot we were on and i actually caught a couple of gags off that same spot fishing for amberjacks but uh we got on them pretty good and uh I'd say there's 20 to 30 head of them on here. They weren't super big. I, I'm guessing the biggest one is in the uh, low 30 pound range, but uh, it's going to be tight on the jackpot. As I say, I don't believe I have a contender in any category this time, which uh, happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. waiting our 
turn. They're always here to greet us. Captain and Bobby over there getting ready to go out on a getting ready to go out on a all day. contender right there. There you go, but I got I'll find them. Yeah, we tagged him separately just for that reason. Buckets full of fish, barrels of fish. picture, sir. That's perfect size. It's perfect size. Perfect size. That's the mango right there. I got way that fast. <laughs> Best jack fishing we've had so far. Red snapper season and grouper season is just around the corner. Contact hubbardsmarina.com for more information. But as I always say, no video is complete without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. They make it all happen. Thank you.